This video is going to be a follow-up video for my how to install a recessed light video that I've put out there, right? And it's going to cover the number one comment that I've received on that video. And that pertains to installing one of these on this box. So if you want to know how to do that, why it's important, stay tuned. So what I'm about to tell you is what I have surmised from the great internet and from my commenters. So if for some reason I am off on any of this, go ahead and drop a comment in the description. If you do it politely, I will pin your comment to the actual video so that anybody else that watches the video, hopefully if they look at the comments, they will see the pinned comment, right? Um, so if I'm running astray, please tell me, right? Um, I would tell you my light's still working. I would tell you my house is not burned down, but what I have surmised from reading is that you do need to add one of these connectors that I'm about to show you to this light box fixture, right? So in the video, what I did in the past was I would have my handy little box here. You have these punch outs on the sides. I do wanna show how you would use these punch outs, right? I have a flathead screwdriver. I'm using my flathead. There's a little notch in here. I'm just using this to pry it out. You can use your finger. I've done that before. But as you can see, I've just pulled that knockout out, right? So what I'm going to do, I volunteer as tribute, just like Katniss Everdeen, my finger to this knockout, right? I'm gonna take my finger and I'm going to rub it around this knockout, right? And I'm doing it feverishly. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully I'm filming this right, okay? So I'm applying pressure, I'm rubbing it all this, you know, with my finger. You can see that it did not cut my finger, right? So this knockout is not inherently sharp, okay? You would take your wire and you would push it through this hole that you've just punched out so that it's now through, right? You could then cut your wire or you could do it in advance if you're smart. Uh, and then once you have your wire stripped, you can push it into these push connections. Where what people keep commenting on, and the concern here is that this wire here, in this plastic sleeve, if you can see that, as it goes into this box, as you can see, I'm rubbing it back and forth on this wire, right? And even though your wire shouldn't be moving, it could, and that over time could peel back the insulation on the wire and then cause uh, an electrical hazard, whether it's you touching the wire whether it's ultimately creating an arc that burns your house down, you know, these are all things you have to consider. So how do you fix that? And that is where, you forgive my staging, these connectors come into play, right? There's a plastic variant, there is a metal variant. And if you're in the comments and if I'm using this for the wrong application, please go ahead and respond now politely. So first, let's install the plastic variant. You would install both of these before you actually install your wire. So what you would do, you have your box here, have the plastic connector. You're gonna push that through, audible click, right? And I don't know if you can make this out, but if you actually look in the interior here, you can see that it has a device that would actually catch the wire. So have my bundle of wire here. You can thread that wire through just like that, right? And it, as I'm pulling, I am forcibly pulling. I am trying, right? it's not coming out, right? So that's one of the benefits, right? Is that having this connector here is actually gonna hold that wire in place. Second benefit being, you know, it's not going to uh, be cut by the metal. So just to show you really quick, maybe you make a mistake and you need to take that wire out. The connector is actually very strong. So I'm gonna show you what you would do. So you can see here, you have a tab here on the top and here on the bottom, which of course is all relative. It could be the side. But if you actually have pushed this in, you would take a screwdriver and just simply depress those tabs enough, you should be able to see that deflection right there. That will let you slide it out. If you thread your wire through this, the way this is designed, it is to tightly hold your wire. So once again, the way that you can come in to actually get your wire back out, take your screwdriver and push up on these tabs and that will give you enough leverage to be able to pull your wire out. So if you install something by mistake, you wanna go back in time and fix your mistakes. You don't have to you know, assemble the infinity stones to do that. You can just do it with a screwdriver. You can see here, I'm just gonna push that in like so. Hopefully I've left the audio in so you can hear the audible click. You can see that's relatively flush with the casing itself. You can see the inside here, these tabs are catching. I can now just go ahead and take my handy dandy screwdriver. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this in the video or not, but I'm gonna do my best. You can see that just like that, the magic of television, you can push those tabs and it pops right out. You can take it back out. All right, so since we've talked about the plastic variant, let's talk about the metal variant, right? So you, it comes in these multiple pieces, right? You have this part here, 
that you use to tighten down on the wire to hold it in place. You have this threaded part that actually goes into the box and then you have this nut that you're able to thread onto the end to actually get it tight in the box. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna show you, I have my knockout here. Notice again, I'm running my finger through it just to show you it's not naturally sharp, uh, but we're doing this to make sure the wire stays in place and to make sure it doesn't wear down over time. Um, I've inserted my uh, protector here, right? I'm not gonna say the brand Romex, even though everyone calls it a Romex connector because the ones I have came from Lowe's and they're not the Romex brand. I'll actually show you the packaging in a minute. But what you would do is you would simply stare longingly into the camera, tell your life story as you're stalling for time, as you're trying to thread this nut. It's not working. We might have a cut in here somewhere. All right, so I managed after actually making eye contact with what I was doing to thread this nut, right? So what you can see here now is we have this gap. This is installed, I should show you that too. Now we're gonna take our wire, okay? Handy dandy wire. We're going to put our wire through this gap, as you can see. So we threaded the wire in. You can see that it can move freely for the time being, right? You would obviously want to go ahead and strip your wire before you stick it in, right? So you're gonna do that. The Phillips head screwdriver was out of frame. So I've now retrieved it and I'm now tightening down this wire. But what you can see, it's getting harder to pull out, right? We'll go ahead and tighten it down some more. And before you know it, this wire is gonna be anchored into this box. It'll never pull out. It might have pulled out before if it was these uh, wire connectors. If you had an earthquake, I don't know. Um, the joys of the code. It's like the Jedi code. Uh, anyways, but you can see here, it's, it's in there good, right? And I'm not trying to be a weakling, but I did pull it out, right? Um, but it took some effort. You might've seen my face turn red um, but that metal connector is installed. And if you needed to go back in time and fix your mistakes, once again, no infinity stone required, no infinity gauntlet. All you have to do is thread that nut off. It's like a really lame magic trick. So at the time of recording this video, Insignior is not including these uh, with these kits. Honestly, Insignior, if you wanted to, it might be a good idea if you're watching this video and you, you know, want to sponsor someone. But anyways, um, you might want to just go ahead and throw a bag of these in there. Uh, you know, the plastic ones, I think, cost like $2 for me when I went to Lowe's to pick them up. You can see it's the 3 8, three eighths inch uh, trade size and the half inch knockout size, right? Uh, the metal one was a little bit more pricey. I think it might have been closer to a dollar. But once again, it's, it's not really that much. And it, they're relatively easy to install. But the general process, of course, when you're doing this work, where if I was going to go back in time and fix where in my video I had this mistake, uh, what I would do is before I uh, install the wire into this box on the pull-out connections, I would go ahead, do my punch out, install one of the connectors. We'll use the push connector, the plastic one, just because it pushes in, it's minimal exertion. Uh, and then after I've done that, that's when I would actually come to my wire. I would go ahead and cut the sheathing, go ahead and strip my wires uh, so I could then thread them through. I would then push the wire through the box and make my connections and call it a day. That is the step that is so important that everyone comments on. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope I've atoned for my sins uh, in that other video where I did not include one of these connectors. I hope all the commenters are positive. I wish for world peace. You know, just asking for the impossible here, right? Uh, but if you've liked the video, go ahead and like the video, like literally by clicking the button. Um, if you want to subscribe and see more fun videos like this, uh, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to comment and in all honesty, if I've done something wrong, please tell me, um, politely and I will pin the comment. I'm not going to remake the video, but I will pin the comment and you can read the comments from people that are much smarter than me, uh, that know how to do these things. Uh, but all that said, that's the video. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. I want to take a minute and dedicate this video to everyone who has watched the previous video and politely responded with the need to add one of these Romex connectors, one of these connectors to the box, right? So if you politely responded, kudos to you. Go buy yourself a Klondike bar. You did a good job. If you were impolite um, in your response, even though you might have been right, um, I would remind you of something that I've heard and has stuck with me, which is people may forget what you say, 
but they will never forget how you made them feel. Um, so I insert that as a quick reminder to always be polite to people. You don't know what people are dealing with. Um, and there's enough hatred in the world. You don't need to be spreading more.